In this video, I want to talk about utilizing SWF animations inside of Video Maker FX. And these are animations from Animation Mega Foundry. And you got these little uh, funny little guys here, and they're looping. And so, uh, what I've done is I've used the, I've used <laughs> the nested animations. And so, uh, I can actually go back into here if I open the gallery up. And actually, I, I'm sorry, I browse images. And uh, I did, I, I don't know, remember which one, but say I did cute smile. Now I did nest it, and uh, I can change that to just animating one time and then stopping. And so it's going to be a little bit more consistent when I do that, I believe. Uh, I could be wrong. But uh, anyways, the, there we go. It's, it's, you can see that as I loop around. So I'm going to come back over to another one here. I'm just going to change uh, them. Let's say I'm going to change it to annoyed. And um, there he is. So you can see that you know you just put these inside of here, and it kind of depends on the slide. In this case, uh, Video Maker FX, at least the version one, does not have all the controls that v Explainio does, and so you're you're going to really need to just stick with slides that support uh, in, in image. And so if I wanted to add a slide here, and I could just I'm going to go ahead. What I did was I went down to the the anniversary slides that Peter was uh, awesome enough to, to give everyone. And I just clicked on him, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, it says present your image, and I just happened to, I, um, I got lucky there, and I actually got it. Um, I'm not sure if I did this exact one or not, but you can see it says, you know, um, it says your image there. And that tells me that I can import an image. It looks like I didn't get as lucky as I thought. You know, it looks like that slide is, there's a couple of them there. But, Anyways, and you can see in this one, for example, I don't see any place to put an image. Now I could probably do it, a lot of them will let you put it in the background, but that doesn't really make sense most of the time. It can make sense sometimes. Say you like this background texture and um, and everything, I think that sometimes you can go into you know, the animation, uh, I'm sorry, the shapes, best shape background, and in this case, I can't, but I can't import a, a, a background change. Uh, well, I'm sorry, here it is. Here's the background image. And if I browsed and I got that animation, I believe I can bring that in. Yes, and see how I can keep the the colored background here. And so if I, I wanted to do something like that, I could go to this and I can remove these elements and I can have the text not showing. So. If I had this presentation, I was already using these slides, and I wanted to keep all of this, I could do something like this, and then come over to the shapes and make it invisible. And I start to have, um, I think, well, I, I, it looks like I can't fully get rid of everything there. I might have to find another slide that I could do that with to get rid of these uh, different shapes here. But um, you can you get the general idea. I can put this in the background uh, and and construct something different. Um, you can do that with a different slide. But in, for the most part, you're really looking for uh, slides that that let you put your own image in. And you can see here, like in this particular case, it says your image, and I need to just change that text. You know, I can whatever the first one is. Hello. You know, I'm just going to change them real quick so you can see. Uh, text two and so forth. You can see that um, there I've changed it, so it doesn't have to stay, you know, your image um, and so forth. And I can change the font and all that good stuff as usual. But really, what I'm doing is I'm looking for now. Some of the slides, I interrupted myself. I'm looking for slides that allow you to put in your own image. So uh, uh, what I was going to say then was um, some of the slides allow you to specify, let me see, I'm going to try to find a couple of slides here where um, it's telling you to put in your, sometimes the text in this box right here will tell you that you can import an image. In fact, let me come up here to basics, I believe it was, something, there you go, image image area one. For in this. So sometimes it'll tell you there's an image area. And in this particular case, you don't see a, uh, you know, a placeholder. So if I add this and I go to images, there I have image area one and I can browse and I can put something inside of there. Let's put, uh, how about a grumpy guy? 
And so you can, this is how you can utilize it in different ways. Now, the, you, again, you have two different options. This is animating and it's fading in, in and out. And that may or may not be a desirable trait. Notice how when it fades out, you get a little of that overlapping and you see how it's constructed a little bit. It may not, you may like that effect or you may not. Um, so anyways, this is the sort of thing that you can, you can definitely, you know, take advantage of and have fun with. You know, I can, by the way, I can size it. But I don't get to move. Well, I actually I do get to move it around um, in with a new version of Video Maker FX. So if you don't see these controls, you definitely want to go and grab this update. This was uh, I don't know a month and a half to two months ago. Uh, but for the most part, you're going to have to work with slides that are pre-made to allow you to import uh, those in there. And so um, definitely. Uh, not as, as versatile as explained to you, but I suspect that that's going to change. I don't know this, by the way. Don't uh, email me and ask me uh, what I know because I don't know. But um, I, I do know that, that uh, Video Maker FX2 is in the works, and that's about it. So, uh, But this is how you can utilize the animations from Animation Mega Foundry inside of Video Maker FX.